After the month of Chen, after the feast of summer, when rains turn forests green, and the summer sun has warmed the sea. Then Hurrikan summons the great storms that bear his name. For Hurrikan is god of the air, heart of the sky, and his signs are lightning and the thunderbolt. And Savaku, the bird, is his messenger, sent to call the storm and then to become a star upon the heavens. find the great storms and signal their coming. June through October is a time when life is full along the coast. It is also the time of hurricanes, a season of deep concern to the Weather Bureau of the Environmental Science Services Administration. A time when the National Hurricane Center in Miami vibrates with a new urgency. A time when ESSA's emergency warning network, stretching west to Texas and north to New England, comes to full alert. Now, every eddy and vortex in the tropical sky is watched for signs that point to a growing storm. And we have in nearly, nearly every one of the Sanders uh, uh, predictions with something less than east winds down here which add vex uh, the Each year the great storms form in the tropical Atlantic some to strike and then die at sea others to flood and scar the land Carla Betsy Hazel, Beulah. From Brownsville to Boston, these names are engraved in memory. Today, the skies are tranquil. The trade winds are steady and deep. The waters catch and hold the heat of the sun. And here's a quick look at the weather. Low 90s this afternoon with a comfortable 74 predicted for tonight. Water temperature at the beaches is 82 degrees, and the winds from the southwest at 7. But far to the east, in the sky over Africa, a small beginning, drifting seaward in the easterly current. Drawing unlimited fuel from the sea, the rain showers grow and gather around a low pressure center. Moisture from the warm ocean is swept upward in the system condensing as it rises, releasing heat energy to feed the storm. As the satellite watches, the tropical depression deepens quickly into a tropical storm. Ships and planes plying the trade routes report on the growing threat. The storm is given a name, Common. It coils counterclockwise upon its center. An eye is formed. A whirlwind seven miles high, dominating the atmosphere over 70,000 square miles of ocean. 
This is a hurricane, the greatest storm on Earth. with special equipment, Navy, Air Force, and ESA hunters probe the size, speed, direction, central pressure, and maximum winds of the storm. Come in again, please. Over. I definable on radar. One, two mile diameter. Give me your latest position report on Hurricane Over. Approximate position, 1653 North, 5342 West, at 1540 Zobo. High clouds, up to 439 Charlie, 39 Charlie, KGD 63, you're fading out, you're fading out. Would you try again, please? Over. Beginning. Maximum winds in excess of one zero zero knots. Storm winds extend eight zero miles west quadrant. High free of upper clouds. Minimum pressure. Already dangerous and growing fast, the storm moves in toward the West Indies. San Juan calling. Do you have the data from the reconnaissance plane? Uh, this is Miami. Uh, we have it, and we have the computer predicted positions, too. How does it look? We've concluded that the sharp uh, pressure rise to the north will keep it on its present course. This is confirmed by the computer track. She's deepening rapidly, and we expect her to stay on a westward track at about uh, 12 knots. We agree. We extended the watch in our last advisory, as you suggested. Yes, I see you did. Uh, we think, too, that the small craft warning should uh, be indicated for all of the islands. Right. Gale force winds on the leading edge are about 150 miles out. On uh, this basis, it looks like the warning should go out at about noon. For four days and five nights, Carmen rages through the islands. Hurricane warnings are out for the Bahamas as her path curves northward over Cuba. Robbed of energy by the Cuban mountains and landmass, the storm falters and begins a slow drift northward. Less than 200 miles away, the Florida coast and the Gulf of Mexico lie exposed. Hurricane watch is in effect northward. A hurricane watch is issued. The news spreads quickly up and down the coast. Carmen's slightest movement is monitored by mainland radar. Hurricane history may offer a clue to her next move. The possibilities are infinite. Men and computers study the environment of the storm, seeking the answer. Her strength regained, Carmen moves with menacing deliberation through the Bahamas, paralleling the continental coastline, when suddenly, the storm stalls. Well, Hurricane Carmen is in the news again. The Weather Bureau has just announced a hurricane watch is in effect. All small craft are advised to stay near safe harbor and be alert for further advisories on the storm. Carmen is stationary now, about 220 miles off the coast, but is growing in intensity. Beaches along the Florida coast are beginning to feel the effects of the storm, with heavy seas and rain squalls reported. We'll keep you informed of the latest developments on the storm over this station. Apathy is dangerous. For some, there is no thought of tomorrow. But others whose livelihood is threatened or upon whom an area's safety and welfare depend. Rush hurricane preparations to completion. Oh, there's no spot there. Right. But you know, those high pressure lines have got me worried. With the runway back going through, it's going to take us about 36 hours to flush them out. 
Well, let's hold the run on this field for a day or two, at least till we hear from the Weather Bureau. Suddenly, the rhythm of the surf changes. There is a heavier beat. The pattern on the radar scope stirs. This is, this is right here, Arnold. That's moving uh, better than 13 knots. So this have, is yeah, the hurricane warning warnings where they are. Uh, Stand the the wheel the hurricane watch. That's the only change. Yeah, okay. And I know the sea out and lower or whatever they say. Yeah. One zero. We'll have to resolve that. Okay. Keep these things in Gentlemen, we're faced with the most serious situation here. Our great uh, Hurricane Carmen has begun to move on a course that'll bring her into the coastline late today. Here's what has happened. When Carmen stalled, she was just south of the influence of a large low pressure trough, which could have captured the storm and we hoped uh, would have swept it away northeast away from land. This trough is now moving uh, out to sea and the pressures behind it are rising and bringing winds in from the east. Uh, these winds are steering the hurricane towards the coast. Our prediction shows that Carmen continuing on a north-northwest tract for the next six hours will be at a speed of about 10 miles per hour. We're now issuing a hurricane warning covering this segment of the coastline. By afternoon, the hurricane should move inland, striking the coast about here. Emergency generators are tested. Circuits checked, as radar must have uninterrupted power to track the storm. For this is landfall, point zero for Carmen. These are the danger spots. Some must be abandoned, but all must be alerted. As morning approaches, a million people along the coastline are awakened to the emergency. This is your civil defense coordinator reminding you that, as in any hurricane, all residents should take the normal precautions and listen to their local radio and television stations and follow the latest advisories and bulletins that are issued by the ESSA Weather Bureau. We will announce further bulletins as they are received. Hurricane warnings are now being displayed along a 300-mile area of the coast and all precautions against dangerous winds and tides from Hurricane Carmen should be rushed to completion in the warning area. Winds expected to exceed 150 miles an hour will progress up the coast as the storm moves inland within the next 12 hours. Tides will be 10 to 15 feet above normal in the areas of hurricane warning displays and low-lying areas are to be evacuated immediately. Numerous tornadoes have been reported near the coast in advance of the storm center. A tornado watch has been issued for an area extending 200 miles inland for the duration of the storm. The causeway, only exit from the offshore islands, will be closed. Time is now short, and there is much to be done while the city still functions. mainly sailboats and the boats have to be positioned so that in a rolling action the masts don't get together. Uh, it's a matter of using heavier line than normal and doubling up on that. Uh, safeguarding against chafing that you normally don't get online because of the difference in tide that can accompany this thing. Final check is made of vital instruments. Now, a presence is felt, filling the horizon, and collective life along this coastline is suspended.
I'm certainly encourage you to follow the... the steady flow of news, warnings, and emergency information continues to prepare the community and tell the nation about this region and this storm. About the progress of the storm and also about the progress of arrangements that are being made uh, to for your care and safety should the necessity of evacuation come about. Now that danger is near, emergency forces are deployed to give assistance to those who cannot help themselves. A stock of emergency items is a must, for high winds and flooding could cut off electricity, water, drug and food supplies for days. Canned foods are chosen in preference to perishable products. Critical drugs, like insulin, are purchased as a precaution. Bathtubs and plastic pails become reservoirs for storage of fresh drinking water. Candle and battery-powered lamps are checked and ready. Those who have portable camping stoves are among the more fortunate. When life and property hang in the balance, everything must be thought of, from mobility to communication. Rain is heavy now and will increase through the afternoon. Wind gusts at present are peaking up to 50 miles an hour. Hurricane force winds of 75 miles an hour are due by late afternoon, with peak intensities of between 150 to 160 miles an hour expected during the night. Tides of the causeway have risen three feet since noon, and parts of the bridge are almost impassable. Tides from this extremely dangerous storm will rise 12 to 15 feet above normal, and all low-lying areas and roads to the north and west are being closed by police. Roadblocks have been set up on Route 85, and only emergency vehicles are being allowed. It's become a race against time. rises in a wall of water, topped by wind-lashed waves which batter the coastline. This is the storm surge, an ocean spilling onto the land. Nothing can stand before it. Whatever has withstood the wind drowns under countless tons of water.
woman moves inland, her rains swell the rivers, and life is caught between the inland rush of the ocean and the seaward flood of swollen streams. Then the hurricane spawns still another killer. the turbulence in the larger storm, the tornado adds to the devastation. protect life and property continues. Right here there's a railroad bridge that uh, is getting a lot of debris around it and blocking the flow of the river and keeping it back about two or three feet and we're trying to get the debris cleaned out so it'll flow through a lot easier. And the Army helicopters have come in and picked up some timbers. They'll be back in just a little while after they get some gas to pick up some more timbers, tanks, and houses along there. The reason these sandbags are over here so this railroad track is always a little lower where they cut through there and they always fill up, fill up this hole right here on both ends of the floodway or the levee whenever uh, they have a flood like this. So uh, we think that it's under control right now except that water is still rising a little bit. But I don't believe there's any danger of it uh, getting out of the banks anymore. search for survivors. Insurance adjusters help residents to pick up the pieces of their shattered lives. Uh, I would suggest that you salvage as much as you can from this and uh, the rest will have to be disposed of. I see. As far as your coverage is concerned, everything is in order and therefore I see no difficulty. This is Ted Child's home. He's a radio dispatcher for the highway patrol. And evidently he got out just in time because it didn't look like anything was saved. We were coming by checking, trying to get people out. There's a couple down the street that hadn't been willing to leave yet. I don't think anybody was expecting it to get this deep because there's a lot of them got their stuff in here. It's pretty rough. It's, it's just about this deep inside his house. The couch is floating, the bed's floating, but the electricity's still on. We were walking through there and there's a book floating and it said heartwarming poems. I, I'm too bad that ruined that because he's gonna need those in a few days to come. The storm drifts overland, there to die where there is no warm ocean to sustain it. In its wake, the sky is serene, purged of its burden. Along 300 miles of coastline, Carmen's track is there to be read. water have done their work. During this eternity of just two days, men and women have thrown their best and often their last resources against the storm.
survival is a victory and hurricane community preparedness planning before the storm is one key to that victory to expand man's defense against the storm the environmental science services administration seeks to learn more about the hurricane by an intensive study of past storms by collecting measurements from the remote regions of the ocean probing the dynamics of the atmosphere and by the interactions along the boundary between air and ocean by reducing to numbers the energies that are involved in their life cycle we may someday find the elusive trigger of the hurricanes but until that time the watch must be kept the warning given in the end man must cope with the threat of the hurricane by the skill of his preparedness for it is certain that Sabaku will rise again and again to summon the great storms. <laughs>